Using a mobile phone while skating on the ice is dangerous to you and those around you. Please use this app responsibly, watch first and practice later. Bonus skill time, we're going to learn the T-push. Now, why is a T-push important? Um, well, it's a great way to find out how much strength you have in your leg and how much balance you have as you transfer your weight. So this is a really good uh, little skill to help you to test yourself. So we're gonna set up and make sure that our feet are close to perpendicular, all right? So I'm taking the foot that's gonna do the push is going to rotate and stand just behind the foot that's gonna do my glide for me after my initial push. I'm gonna make sure the arms are set out nice and strong side to side, bend my knees, and again, inside edge for the push because it's just a standard push. I'm gonna press against that inside edge and then really focus on holding my balance for as long as I can. Of course, don't wanna to go too far up there as I'm gonna lose my cameraman. However, the stronger we can press down into the floor and feel our weight transfer onwards, the better we're going to get at so many different skills. As we start to learn advanced one foot turns and so on, uh, even just being more powerful in our, our forward stroking, our forward skating as we go around the ice rink, the ability to command power through our pushing leg and then distribute our weight and balance onward to our gliding foot is a really important skill. So we're breaking it down here, really simplifying it, and if you want to turn it into a game for yourself to see how well you're doing, you can start by setting up on a line on the ice rink and then skating your T-push, give it everything you've got, and then see how long you can balance for. See whether you can pass the blue line in the rink, the red line, some people, smarty pantsers, can even do an entire length of the ice rink. Now there's a challenge. We've shortened the glides on these demonstrations, but remember it's always important to practice both feet. Now let's look at some common errors. A push that slips sideways through the heel indicates two flaws. Applying the push too far back along the blade into the heel and the directional effort is heading sideways instead of back. A push with the main thrust away through the toe pick can be corrected by concentrating on keeping the full length of the blade connected to the ice and the heel of the pushing foot down. In a correct push, we see the knees bending, application of pressure into the back foot which remains on one spot as the pushing leg begins to extend, triggering our cue for weight transfer to initiate our one foot glide. A rear view shows us that the ankle is the very last joint to extend, adding power to the push without applying direct force to the toe pick. Hockey skaters, you are also aiming to find the bite on the inside edge, eliminating any slip of the blade to the left or right in the pushing process.